This is the design that we will print on t-shirts. This is the front design and this is for the back. Then we will separate the colors. Convert color red to black. We will trim some parts of the they are gods. And retain the letters T and S. By putting black outline on the letters T and S you will notice that we're reducing its thick. On the second page is the back design and the positive for the white color for front of the t-shirts. On the third, fourth and fifth page are the positive for the names. Let's print the positives. By the way I'm using Epson L120 printer. Using ordinary ink and paper for the positives. After printing the positive we will prepare the screens that we will use in making the stencils. First we will prepare the photo emulsion. We will be needing this cut cardboard, plastic knife. This is a photo emulsion. And this is a sensitizer. And these are the screens that we will coat with photo emulsion. This is a photo emulsion mix that I used from my previous project. I will just add new photo emulsion and sensitizer to it. Sensitizer makes the photo emulsion sensitive to light. Which means that because of the sensitizer the photo emulsion reacted when exposed to light, it hardens. Stir the mixture thoroughly then we will apply it on our screens. We will use this scooper in applying photo emulsion on screens. Pour photo emulsion on scooper and apply it on the screens. To dry the photo emulsion on screens I use electric fan. You can also use hair blower if you want the screens to dry faster. By the way you should do this process in dimmer area. After applying photo emulsion on screens return the remaining photo emulsion on the container and wait for the screens to dry. We will apply second coating. This second coating will ensure that our screens are properly coated. By the way I'm using 100 mesh screens. Ideal for water based textile paints. After applying second coating of photo emulsion on screens. Return the remaining photo emulsions in the container and wait for the photo emulsions to dry. Then we will set up the positive on screens. This is a shirt pad. Center the front positive on shirt pad. Using a ball pen mark its location on screen. Using a cooking oil we will adhere the positive on screen. Pour cooking oil on screen. Spread the cooking oil on screen using your forefinger. Then place the positive on its marked location. Notice the unprinted part of the paper, it becomes transparent. Remove trapped bubbles between the screen and positive using the forefinger. Sometimes the positive warp, when it happens I usually made a cut on this part using a scissor to flatten this part or you can use flat glass to flatten the positive on screen. Then pour cooking oil on the bottom part of the screen. Spread the cooking oil using forefinger. We will use this space for names. Trim the names positive if necessary then adhere the positive on this part. Remove trapped bubbles between screen and positive using forefinger. Put the screen aside. Then we will set up the design for the back of the t-shirts. Center the positive for the back of the t-shirts on shirt pad. Mark the location on screen using a ball pen. Pour cooking oil on screen. Spread the cooking oil using forefinger. Adhere the back's positive on its marked location. Remove trapped bubbles between screen and positive using the forefinger. On the space below, pour cooking oil. Spread the cooking oil using forefinger. Adhere names positive on this part. Remove trapped bubbles between screen and positive using forefinger.
Put the screen aside. Pour cooking oil on the third screen. Spread the cooking oil using forefinger. Adhere the remaining names positive. Remove trapped bubbles between the screen and positive using the forefinger. On the bottom part of the screen pour cooking oil and spread the cooking oil using forefinger. Then adhere the remaining positives on this area. After setting up all the positives we will expose the screens to sunlight for 10 seconds. Let's begin. 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 and 1010. Then the second screen. 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 and 1010. And the last screen. 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 1006 1007 1008 1009 and 1010. Then we will wash the screens. In washing the screens we will use a water hose. First wet the insides of the screens. Then wet the other side while removing the positives. Let the water run through the screens. Spray the screens alternately. Water will soften the unexposed part. You will notice that the unexposed part are lighter in color. This part are the ones covered during exposure. And the part that are exposed to sunlight will harden. After few minutes of spraying you will notice that this unexposed photo emulsion are being washed out. Creating an opening wherein the paint will pass through during printing. Continue spraying. Check for details. Spray until all the designs are clear. Control the water pressure using the finger. Be careful in spraying. Too much water pressure can also destroy the stencil. We're almost finished washing the screens. Double check the screens. Spray unwanted photo emulsion on the designs, target scums with water. Then using cotton rug we will remove trapped water on the openings. Tap the cotton rug on screen stencils, it will absorb trapped waters. Sometimes this trapped water are sticky and can still block the openings if not removed properly. Then wait for the screen stencils to dry then we will apply photo hardener to make our screens tougher and durable. Let's apply photo hardener on our screen stencils. We will use cotton ball. Wet cotton with photo hardener and rub it on the screen stencil. We're not applying photo hardener on names since we will only use each name just once, so it's not necessary. Then apply photo hardener on the second screen. Then on the third screen stencil. Then we will wait for the hardener to dry then we will tape our screen stencils to prevent paint leaks during printing. After taping the screen stencils we can start the printing. We will print the names on sleeves first. 
This is just a paper that we will use as a guide in printing names. Fold the paper. Tape it so that it will not open. Fold it and put a cut on the center and on the middle of the right and left side. We have a paper guide. This will also protect the t-shirts from unwanted paint. In printing the names we will also use this small shirt pad. Insert the shirt pad on the right sleeve. Put the paper guide on top of the sleeve and let's begin the printing. Put the name to be printed just above the paper guide. We will use this small plastic squeegee. Put small amount of paint on squeegee and start the printing. Remove the shirt pad on sleeve, I set up chairs beside me so that I can easily go back and forth to do the printing and scattering of the finished t-shirts. There are smaller t-shirts so I use smaller shirt pad for these small t-shirts so that I can insert the shirt pad on sleeves. Put the paper guide on top of the sleeve. Put the name to be printed just above the paper guide. Print. And put the finished t-shirt on chairs. Do this cycle until all the shirt are finished. After printing the names on sleeves. We will wait for the paint to dry. Then we can start printing the front of the t-shirts. This is our screen stencil for the front of the shirts. You will notice that I taped some of the names below the front design. So that paint will not leak there during print. In printing the front of the t-shirts we will use the shirt pad. Center the t-shirt on top of the shirt pad. Put the screen stencil on top of the t-shirt. By the way we will be using this bigger squeegee in printing the front design. Put paint on screen stencil, and let's begin. I'm using red water based rubberized paints. No need to cure the paint. I'll just scatter the finished t-shirts to dry. Repeat the process on this second t-shirt. You can also use electric fan or hair blower to dry the paint faster. This is the advantage of water-based paint, no need for complicated curing. The paint is water-based rubberized paint, the thicker the deposit on t-shirts the better. Then just continue printing until all the t-shirts are finished. Then wait for the red paint to dry and we will print the second color white. In printing the color white, we will use the letter T and S as a guide. Align the letters T and S and we can start the printing. By the way I will be using this plastic squeegee. Put super white paint on screen stencil and let's begin. Again the thicker the deposit of paint the better. Then hang the finished t-shirt on chairs. 
Repeat the process on the second t-shirt. If you can find a helper to hang the finished t-shirts then that will be good. You can finish the printing faster. Just continue printing until all the t-shirts are finished. Then we will wait for the white paint to dry and we will print the back of the t-shirts. This is the screen stencil that we will use in printing the back. Center the t-shirt on shirt pad. Center the screen stencil on t-shirt. By the way I will be using this smaller plastic squeegee. Put red water based rubberized paint on screen stencil. And let's begin. Just like what we did earlier. Hang the t-shirts on chairs. And repeat the process on the rest of the t-shirts. And that's it. I hope you learn from my videos. And please don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for more videos. If you have any questions or suggestions just type it on the comments below. Happy Silk Screen Printing